Hello everybody and welcome to another video from Mac user and today uh, we're going to go have a look at uh, the legacy versions of the old Mac operating system. Um, I've had a few requests on how do I uh, boot Catalina or even older El Capitan operating systems. So let's get into the video uh, and I'll show you how we uh, set this up. As always with any of these really, you need to go to the Apple uh, web page, uh, I'll put it in the link below, but basically you need to search for how to boot USB operating systems and then from there it gives you the option to click on the link to, do, to go to the operating system you need to download. So on this occasion I'm going down to the bottom of the page where it says use only web browsers for older versions and then I click on El Capitan. Uh, on my website I've written a whole article about this uh, and why I would choose El Capitan as opposed to some of the other operating systems. But it's basically to do with the terminal command and some of the old legacy stuff is a bit hit and miss whether it actually works. So you download the installer and once it's downloaded, it's quite a big file, uh, you then just double click it and it will then go away and run the installer like it would do any other installer. So let's uh, fast forward that uh, and see what happens at the end. So it's installed, it's giving you the old green tick and it gives you the option there, do you want to move it to trash and I click no because I might use the installer again and then I quit the installer. Then I eject the actual installer because it's on the desktop so we need to eject that and then I look in my applications folder and there you can see the uh, El Capitan installer and obviously the version as well of it. None of these are updated anymore with the legacy operating system, so you won't receive any more updates from the one that they've got on the uh, website. So I'm happy I've got my uh, installer, it is the correct installer, and then all I've got to do then is go into terminal, and then I'm going to cut and paste from the Apple website the terminal command for El Capitan. Um, before I do that, I'm just going to make sure that I've my naming convention is correct for um, the USB stick, so obviously that has to be uh, my volume. It's always the same with Apple, um, it's always my volume. You don't have to call it my volume, you can change that, it's entirely up to you, but I just keep it simple with regards to that. So here I am uh, copying the my volume part, and then I'm just going to press enter and then just change the USB stick to my volume. It doesn't matter what the USB stick installer is on. I mean this one here is on um, FAT32. So once I'm happy with that and I've cut and pasted my terminal command it prompts me for the password. We obviously put in the admin password and then we click yes and then it will go away and do its installer. Once the terminal command is completed you will get the go ahead from terminal saying that it has completed the task. And then all you have to do is eject that USB stick and then test it on a legacy machine. One thing you are going to need on this is a legacy machine. So you're going to need an older uh, Mac that actually can run that operating system. So I'm using a 2012 MacBook Pro. Uh, so anything from that era and before will obviously help you out. I will put the link of what operating systems run with um, El Capitan and above. So the youngest machine that I think it will run on is a 2015 MacBook Pro according to the Apple website. However, I would find a machine a lot older than that, so something in the 2012 mark will do fine. Um, and then all you've got to do is run obviously that installer. You will find that if you use it on a younger machine, the it will just time out there will be an error message because the, the operating system is too old. The machine I was using was running Catalina so it was fine, it was didn't have any issues with it whatsoever. I could download the file, run the installer and away we go as you can see in the video. But just be, just be warned that you will need a legacy machine for you to run that operating system. So that's it really for me. So test the installer just to make sure it works and you should be good to go. Hopefully uh, you've learnt something from this one and uh, have a great day. I'll see you on the next video.